Hi guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit about test anxiety. And I think, you know what, we're all anxious about something or another in life, aren't we? I think people are pretty good at hiding anxiety because it doesn't always show on your face, but deep down we're all, you know, sort of worried about something. It's sort of human nature, I think. So one thing I think that's important to recognize for the GRE, it's pretty normal to be anxious. And it's especially normal to be anxious when there's something at stake you know, like getting into graduate or business school, right? So the results of this test matter. Uh, you're naturally going to be a little bit anxious. And you, I don't think it's realistic to expect that it's going to go away 100% because then you'd be kind of like a robot, right? So the thing about normality too, if you're not prepared, so if you're unprepared, you're going to be more anxious than if you are prepared. And that's pretty natural right so if you're unprepared it just makes it worse so one of the things we can do to mitigate test anxiety is to prepare really well and if you're really prepared you've done the practice you followed a good study plan naturally your test anxiety is going to be a little bit less than if you don't do those things it's not going to go away entirely but it's going to be less so one of the problems with that advice though is procrastination because when we're anxious about something it kind of ties in to procrastination because you're not going to want to practice if something makes you feel anxious when you do practice right so you really do have to fight um a couple of fronts on a couple of fronts here you know you want to put off studying because it makes you feel worried when you do study but of course that's the worst thing you can possibly do is put it off right so having a schedule and being accountable to somebody is a good idea just so you have some visibility in terms of whether or not you have done your study plan now that person you're accountable to shouldn't necessarily be judging you or yelling at you if you like to be yelled at tell them to yell at you I guess but I personally don't really they're just there to provide visibility did you do the plan okay cool if you did fine if you didn't fine but it just makes it easier if they're seeing what you're doing as opposed to you're in your own little bubble. Now I like to talk about overconfidence too. So some of you might be like, dude, I'm not anxious about the GRE. I got it. You know, it's easy for me, blah, blah, blah. So overconfidence can actually be just as big of an issue as anxiety because overconfidence can lead people to underprepare and to take the test too lightly. The GRE is hard for most people. And if you're, it's not hard for you, you probably already know that by now because of your practice test scores. But for most people, it is hard and you don't want to underestimate it because you're just going to be leaving potential points on the table if you had taken, if you had taken it more seriously, you would have prepared better and got those points. So be aware of the feeling of overconfidence as well. And, you know, again, that can be something that uh, you have to be sort of self-aware to know. I think we all know when we're anxious because it kind of feels like crap when you're anxious. But if you're overconfident, it feels good in a way, right? So you may want to just kind of think about that for a minute. Am I being overconfident about the GRE? And see if you can become aware of that if you are. Maybe even talk to a friend and see if it makes sense that you're taking it too lightly. So one of the thing, another things, I don't, did I spell that right? Desensitization. Another thing we can do to pre prepare for the GRE in terms of mitigating anxiety is to desensitize ourselves to the test by doing realistic practice tests. So of course, we all know by now, power prep, the ETS power prep um, tests are the most realistic tests by a country mile and if we take them under the same exact conditions as the real GRE we're desensitizing ourselves to the experience a little bit so by taking them under the same conditions I mean that you want to take them in an environment just like the test center you know it's going to be a room full of computers with cubicles you are going to have no water no food no phone no friends nothing with you except the pencil and scrap paper and you're going to get that one 10 minute break after the first math or verbal section. So if you take your practice test in that same kind of environment as best you can, you're going to desensitize yourself to the real thing and it won't feel as scary when you're there. So you want to just go through the exact motions every time you take a practice test. My advice is typically go into a library study room 
where no one can disturb you and it's just a su super sterile, austere environment. And then finally, I want to talk about the physical component. I think the healthier you are physically, the more likely it is that it's easier to be healthy mentally. Now, I don't mean to make light of, you know, mental health. Mental health is a serious thing, just like physical health. But I think if you have a strong health base in terms of your physical health, you know, you exercise, you eat well, you sleep well, especially sleep. So exercise, food, sleep. And no, I'm not a psychologist here, but I'm going to say social support. The stronger these things become, your base of exercise, your base of eating well, your base of sleeping well, your base of having a nice network of family and friends who are in contact with you and sort of supporting you, the easier it's going to be to deal with test anxiety, I think. Again, not a psychologist here, but to me it's just common sense that that helps. And I know when I'm physically healthy and I exercise and I'm sleeping well, I feel a lot better mentally. So test anxiety, again, part of life for most of you. And I, just a fun fact, probably, um, you know, almost all of my students, if not all of them, are going to be anxious about the test. But when we look at their results, their results are in line with their practice scores. And very, very few of my students, and I suspect this is true for any GRE tutor out there who knows who's good at what they do, very few of my students actually have a performance on test day that's much lower than their practice tests. So despite the anxiety, they tend to do fine almost all of the time. So hopefully that's a little bit comforting to you. Just reach out to me if you have further concerns about test anxiety. Maybe I can give you a little pep talk or add some more advice to your specific situation.